Now, if you're on TikTok, I'm sure that you're going to know the song that I'm teaching today. It's Snap by Rosa Lynn. Now, this is a really beautiful fingerstyle song with a nice strumming pattern as well. So I hope you can enjoy learning this song. And there's only a few chords for you to learn as well. So we're in standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. And the chords that you need to know are A minor. So if you're not familiar, just check out the chord charts. Then we've got an F major, but we're not going to bar this one just to make it a little bit easier. So just your index finger across the first and second string, and then the rest of the fingers on there, not playing the sixth string. Then we've got a C major, fifth to first string, and then a G major, sixth to first string. So all strings there. So A minor. F major, C major, G major. Now the intro is going to be a really easy finger picking pattern. So if we start on our A minor, it's going to be 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd. And repeat that. So slowly. So we'll play it through three times. And then we're going to go on to our F major for one time. Again, five, four, three, two. So. And then we're going to go on to a C major. So three times on that, five, four, three, two. And then onto a G major. Except you'll see there that I'm only really playing the middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string because the notes that you're playing, six, four, three, two, don't need to be fretted there. So open four, three, and two. So three on the A minor, one on the F major, then three on the C major, one on the G major. So that's the whole intro. And that'll take us straight into the verse, which is going to be identical to the intro, but played through four times this time. So, and so on. So that's four times played through for verse one, and then that'll take us into a pre-chorus, which changes up a little bit. Now, if you're enjoying these tutorials, or maybe even if this is your first one, I'd appreciate your support by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And don't forget, if you want to see what gear I'm using, I've got some links below for you to check out. So check those out. Otherwise, let's get into the pre-chorus. So this time we're on an F major and we'll be strumming it. And it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So. And a bit faster. And then we're going to go onto our G major. So the same start of that strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, and then we're going to let it ring out. So pre-chorus is going to be... And that'll take us into our chorus. Now the strumming pattern for our chorus is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So starting on our A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. So. And this time we're not going to hold off, we're going to go straight onto our F major. Same strumming pattern, so. Then onto a C major. And then we're going to stay on the C major for two more beats. Then G major. So A minor. There's a few different options for how you strum that last bar. You might go like I just showed you, or you might go from the C major. So there's a few different options. You can experiment there, but really that's the chorus it's going to be. So we'll play that through four times, and in the last time we play it, this is how it's going to go.
So there, on our C major. And then down, up, down, up. And then mute on our G major. So, and mute there at the end. And then there's kind of one bar of silence before we get back into a verse. So, it'll be. And then we'll go into another verse. Now this verse is going to be very similar to the first one using our picking pattern. So it's going to be A minor. And we'll play it through four times, except the last time it's going to be A minor. And then F major. And then this time we're just going to go C major twice through. So not ending on our G major and mute that. So A minor, F major, C major, and mute. Just like that. And that's going to end our verse and take us back into a chorus where we're using the same chords and the same strumming pattern. So we're going to play that through four times like before, but this time at the very end, we're not going to do our G major muting. We're just going to play it through just like that. Now, the reason that we're going to do that is because we're going straight back into an interlude. This time it's going to be the same as the chorus. So exactly the same strumming pattern and uh, chords as well. So just play through two times. And then that'll take us into a bridge. Now the bridge is going to be similar to the pre-chorus that we played before on our F major and then onto our G major. Except the strumming pattern is going to be a little bit uh, more fluid. So. so what I'm doing there is I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down up, down, up, down, down, up. Now it is pretty fluid, so you are free to use a different strumming pattern if you want. F major again. And then we're gonna end on a single strum on the G major. So going F to the G and then F to the G again, ending on a single strum there on our G major. Now we'll hold that G major for a while and then Really, we're not going to start until halfway through the first line of the next chorus. So we're leaving our A minor and our F major, and we're going straight onto our C major. So it'll end up being... So it's almost like you're picking up, but you're only coming in on the second half of the first line of the chorus. So you're ending there on the bridge on the G major. Then it'll go... Da -da -da. Da, 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 da. and then play on like that and play that through three more times so like we would four times in the regular chorus and that'll take us into an outro now if you remember back to that first chorus how we played through four times from our a minor to our f major to our c major to our g major you will remember at the very end we went four strums and then the mute on the G major and that's exactly how the outro is going to go. So four times through like we would for a chorus. And then the last time. And ending just like that. So four strums and mute on our G major. So that's all you need to know for Snap by Rosalyn. I hope you've enjoyed that one and check out my next video coming up soon. Thanks guys.